the St. Edward Eagles versus the Walsh Jesuit Warriors, an epic rivalry that redefined the sport of wrestling. It's a clash of dynasties. Perfect. Oh, sorry about that. The B-roll was worth it. Okay, so the reason you clicked on this video was to see how the Clash of Dynasties premieres went and what I thought about the film. Or you just accidentally clicked on this video and you saw a random shirtless guy. Sorry about that. But first, why was I at the premiere? Why do I care about this film? Well, in 2022, my film teacher, Miss Munnell, told the whole film class, hey, this alumni, Ben Hada, has a really cool opportunity for you guys. And I was like, awesome, a film internship opportunity. So of course time went by and I was the only one who stayed on top of it and didn't forget about it. So I got it. Over the summer, we had a production meeting over Zoom. Like a week before production, we met at Lincoln Lizard with the crew, uh, which, that was nice. Just to put this in the frame of where I was at in the summer, I was working at Newbert Painting I was also working on Batman's 1, 2, and the Robin series, and the Lego Movie 2, all at the same time. You can also go back and find film of me talking about this internship in videos while I was doing it. I am super, 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 super busy. Film internship. So our first day was August 1st, and we just went work the entire August. First half of August was at St. Ed's. And at St. Ed's, it was really fun as I was partially with the football team during the day. I, I would see them because I'm a manager for the football team and uh, it was nice to see them while I was working on the film. They were calling me a narc because I always had uh, a walkie talkie with me and an earpiece in. <laughs> most of the days were like eight to eight o'clock. So pretty long days. That's how most production, real big productions are. The next half of August was at Walsh Jesuit which is a 40 minute drive every morning. I did take a few days off during that time. One of the days was a day where we had to film Batman 2 with all my brothers. It was the only day I could do it, so I had to take off. So getting to work for Ben was really eye-opening and pretty amazing to see the amount of detail and effort and hard work, how much he put into it and how much like help he got. It was really incredible. Just working with the crew, uh, AJ, both Sam's, Jordan, Isaac, Andre, Nick, uh, Everybody else I'm forgetting to mention. All super nice people. But Ben actually gifted me, and I think the other production assistants, a journal. And I still use this for my productions today. At the first page, you can see I drew a nice little drawing. And on the <laughs> next page, I do the same drawing, but in verse. Oh, great start to the journal. But I, I started using this on the Lego Movie 2 that I was working on at the time. You can see all my messy handwriting. Here's this little bit of my process. Uh, you can also see I used it on the Pool Royal Rumble, so I did a little scheduling on here. I drew out a, block, a blocking map. How each part of the Royal Rumble would go. <laughs> you know, some spots. This is Batman 3 blocking, so spoilers for Batman 3. You probably wouldn't understand any of this anyways. Thank you, Ben. From Ben, I think I got one of the best pieces of advice and filmmaking, when you're planning a day production, you have everything lined out and you have all the props or whatever equipment listed, everything you need. Just go through the day in your head. Think about every specific detail, where you're gonna be, where these people are gonna be. Like at this time, oh, that's gonna be, need to be there. So set that up beforehand. The amount of detail that goes into film and all this stuff is very incredible. It doesn't get noticed on camera, but it's a big, it's a big deal. For example, the lighting. Most people don't think about the lighting. Like I just threw this light here. Uh, in the St. Ed's weight room, there's a sunroof. So light comes in from you know, the glass at the top. So what we had to do was we went onto the roof of St. Ed's, got a giant tarp, and we had to use some like bricks to hold the tarp down. And just like, even if one rock flew away and the tarp was flapping on the walkie talkie they're like get on that the tarps were used to control the light and to keep it consistent also when i was on that roof i felt like batman watching over gotham city except i was watching over high school football players
We actually used sandbags and when we were taking it off, we made a little pulley system. Or I don't know if you call that. We tied a rope to a bucket and we would lower the bucket down to people on the set of stairs so that we didn't have to walk all the way through the school with the sandbags. So that was pretty smart. Like setting up the cameras beforehand, we would test out shots. Getting to work with AJ uh, when he was doing B-roll was really cool to see how he set these shots up, how he wanted to do it, his cool gimbal going through. I, he, he let me hit record and do a rack focus. I, that might have been in the film. One shot that didn't get used in the film was I flipped through the handbook that Ferguson gave to Coach Barter. Spoilers. And at Walsh, I got to know the layout of the school, meet all the wrestlers. So after the production of the film, I went back to school, then went on to film some more interviews. It was two years of editing. He did tracking down VHS tapes, and it was just incredible what he did. I stayed in contact with Ben for those two years. And finally, the premiere came November 22nd and 24th for four episodes. So on Friday night, we went to the Akron Civic Theater for episodes one and two. I went and signed all these posters. I think I was supposed to. I just scribbled on all of them, as you can see. Aunt Renee and Uncle Brian King. Wants to kick my butt. That's because we're a tall drink of water in the seventh grade. All arms, all legs. I'm going, look at this kid. And and he worked his tail off at Bird's house. Oh, Beck's Reservoir. You see, I'm not biased here. I kind of forgot the story because I knew the story when I was on production, but I kind of just lost it a little bit. When I got there at the beginning, it was a little. It was, it was a little fast. I know there's so many years we have to cover, but it was like, okay, this happened then, okay. So it might take you a little bit to be like, get in the mindset of, okay, wrestling, you have to set up this team, this team, and then go into this year where you have their dual meet, the state championships, and maybe an Ironman later in the later years. So that's another thing to mention, the format. I really liked how he formatted it, uh, just going through year by year. That's the correct way to do it. It's his incorporation of what was going on in pop culture at that time. He used clips from those years. And he showed that this rivalry wasn't just about wrestling. It was about the individuals, the teams, and what everybody was going through. You had deaths uh, surrounding this, the changing and coaches. It all came to a head with these two teams and just who was going to win. Ben did a great job of doing that through all the interviews. I almost forgot to mention what we would do during the day. So we would e either be outside of the interview room, the wrestling room, uh, like making sure nobody's making noise, or we would be inside the wrestling room uh, listening to the interview and taking notes on our phone with time markers uh, so that we, so that the, it would help the editor find specific things that the person said. I still have the notes on my phone from, from those interviews. Or we would be off filming B-roll with AJ. So I got to do all that a good amount of times. It's a great experience. I'll let you guys watch the four episodes when they come out for yourself, December 12th. Today, Sunday, we went to the Cleveland House of Blues for episodes three and four, and that was great as well. I met Dolph Ziggler for a second time, Nick Nemeth. Yeah. All arms, all legs. Kind of dorky. Stay Streets guys, the Sinez, the Walsh kids, whoever want to come into the main room, feel free. We'll... Overall, I couldn't be more thankful for the experience Ben gave me. It's definitely going to be super useful in the future. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also in the comments below, leave suggestions for the 100th punishment.
If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, and still smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, turn on post notifications. Uh, buy one of these shirts, or buy one of my shirts, just DM me for a shirt. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day. <sighs> I have to catch my breath, because I just did 30 push-ups. Don't ask why. <sighs> why am I out of breath after that? <sighs> I need to see this fat doctor. <sighs> I still have to catch my breath. <sighs> I need a water bottle. I'm not going upstairs. Holy moly. <sighs> yeah, my goodness, breathe. <sighs> Who's going to the bathroom right now? Give this a second. It was really amazing and eye-opening to see how much... Who is taking a piss? What the heck is going on up there?